Hi everyone. Happy Monday once again. Today I am going to be doing a look that is based off of the Santa Claus movie that has Tim Allen. And so I'm going to be using some really pretty colors. Um, I'm going to be using this shimmery gold right here, Graceland. And then I am also going to be using Unicorn, this pretty pink right here for my lips. And then I'm also going to be using, it's from a different palette. It's not from Saint. Um, and it is this really pretty blue right here. So... First, since I'm using the shimmery colors, I'm just going to take the Milk Lip Conditioner and go over just my eyelids with it. And like I said, I'm just using my finger. And that just kind of preps my eyes to keep the shimmery colors pop more. If you've watched my videos, um, you have heard me talk about this in the past. So, I am going to grab my eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take Graceland and I'm going to put that all over my lid. And, of course, I'm taking my dog that was up all night sick to the vet too. <laughs> I may have to take this off my eyes before I go. Otherwise, they're going to be like, oh my goodness. And I'm just taking the pointed end. I call it the smudge end. And I'm just going to go in with Graceland. And I'm just kind of patting it on. my dogs decide to behave today I know yesterday during my videos you could just hear them just going crazy and I did do a video um, that I posted earlier where you can actually use two fingers and get your face done of course minus your eyeshadow in eight minutes um, So y'all be sure to check that out. That's very helpful for any of the moms or if you oversleep for work, if you're working right now, um, you can literally just fly through it. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. Getting that Graceland in there. It's such a pretty gold, shimmery color. Um, when I did a makeover last weekend, uh, Saturday, um, it's for a bride-to-be, and she ordered Graceland, and we did this, and she just absolutely fell in love with the color, and it is one of our regular colors. So I'm just going to check this out. I'm just going to grab a little bit more. Put it towards my lash line. And they are looking even. Now, I'm going to wipe that off, and then I'm going to go in with that blue and just kind of put it on the outer 
outer of my lid. I'm not going to go into my crease with it. Um, I think that might be a little bit too bold. But I am going to go on my outer lid with it. Let me try and use this smaller brush. Grab it. I have not used this palette in so long. So we're gonna see how this works out. And like I said, I'm just kind of going on the outer lid with it. Just kind of working. Might smudge just a tad into my crease, but I'm not dipping back into the palette. I'm just using what is on my brush already and just kind of smearing that in. And that is a definitely big bold look but like I said it's based it's just for fun and based off of the Santa Claus movie and then I'm just gonna grab a little bit more do the other side The rain finally stopped here, which is good, so I was able to put some of my dogs outside so they could get some playtime in. I just had three of them out getting their playtime in. Now I've got another three out getting their playtime in. Like I said, I am just kind of going into the crease with what is left over on the brush. Go a little bit more on this side, just so they will look even. I'm just kind of lightly going. Then I'm going to take the fluffy end and just kind of blend it. And I know I usually have my hair done for these, but being up all night with Diamond, I'm on my third day of curls with my time iron I just got up this morning and just kind of brushed it and kind of went with it so it looks a little messy and put just a tad bit more this blue on my outer corner just because like I said I am trying to get them to match and then what I'm going to do is take 
that unicorn, that really pretty white, and go into my inner eye and maybe put some on my brow bone. Now, smudge that just a little bit. I'll not smudge, but blend. That's the key to blending. I wanted to do some new looks with some reds, and then, of course, the post office is running behind. It was supposed to be delivered today, and I got a notification that it was running. It was in transit, but would be arriving late, which is par for the course for the post office these days. Especially if you're waiting on something that you really, really, really want. And what I may do, I think, is grab a little bit more of the Graceland. And put just an extra pop in there. One of my dogs barking. Somebody's turning around in my yard. All right. So for now, we've got this so far, and then I'm gonna take the unicorn and put it on the inner corner of my eye. Which I'm just getting this blue off. So you don't want to mix that blue with that really pretty white. And I believe I have gotten it all off. And what I'm going to do is just take this white unicorn and go into the inner corner of my eye. Might smudge some underneath. Do the other eye. Smudge a little bit underneath. Kind of buff that out just a little bit or blend it. So I use the same buff because of my face, buffing everything out. And I think I may take some of the blue, just a tad, and go underneath my eye with it. And then blend, we'll buff that out as well. Just a tad. About to stab myself in the eye.
gonna take and just kind of blend this out underneath my eye. Between my eyes. And got a little bit of gold right there. Try and pick that up with my beauty perfector. I had just a call out. And I believe, what do y'all think? I think I'm going to take some of the unicorn and just put it up um, on my brow bone. So, then we'll do the lip mascara and we'll be done. See how that kind of blends in with the unicorn that is on the in corn on the inside of my eye. Do the other one. And I really have no plan when I'm doing my makeup. I just kind of let it, well, with my eyes, I just kind of let it do what it wants to do. I have like a small idea, but then usually that changes. And then I'm going to blend that out some. There goes one of my dogs. Of course, I jinx myself. I'm saying they were being so good. So, this right here. And then I am going to add in my mascara, of course. This color is ruby that I'm putting on my lips. It's definitely a brighter pink than what I'm used to, but and I know I'm just going outside the box for all these. sure that is straight put my mascara on and then we will be done and like I said this look is inspired by the Santa Claus movie with Tim Allen um, I'm gonna try to do uh, different looks inspired by holiday movies um, every day
I'm going to be looking for um, different palettes and different color combinations um, to do that. I'm trying to decide if I should wear this to the vet today or not. Or just take it off. And then all the hard work. Just turn around and take it all off. And that is my deaf dog that y'all have heard me talk about. She barks at the TV. I figured she'd be used to it by now. Poor baby was in the shelter for seven years. So she really did not see a TV. Now do the other one. I don't know. I'm kind of digging this look. It's very different, but... I'm digging it. I'm liking it so far. Y'all tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And like, share, comment. Um, I do read all the comments that are put down. I will respond. And uh, y'all make sure to follow me on Instagram as well, where I post looks, different beauty hacks, all right, everybody, so this is the final look that is based off of Santa Claus. Yesterday, I did Frosty the Snowman, in case y'all missed that video. And I'm going to do a close-up of my eyes, just so y'all can see. Try and get this mess of a hair out of the way. And here we go. So, y'all have a wonderful Monday. And I will be seeing y'all tomorrow. Bye!